John Rickaford by Simone Hansen. John Rickaford was born in Georgetown, Guanya in 1949. He went to University of California and University of Pennsylvania for his degrees, he sh and he should be about 70 years old now and is still working at Stanford University. He is well known for being a very good teacher and has even received rewards for it. Unlike our past linguists, his native language is the Guanese Creole spoken in Georgetown. He has written tons of articles and quite a few books. And one of his books that he co-wrote with his son won the American Book Award. His focus is on variation with specific linguistic variables, which is basically word choice for when the words have the same meaning, but the difference is basically dialectal, such as going and going. He works with the subject within other social linguistic viewpoints, such as the history of its use and the social constraints in which it's used in. He doesn't focus on a specific dialect, but he does have a specific kind of dialect he prefers, such as the English-based Creoles of the Caribbean. Politically, he was one of the first pioneers for saying that we should teach speakers of other dialects and languages by bridging rather than criticizing the linguistic differences. He feels very strongly about the subject and was part of what was once called the Ebonics War. Ebonics was basically a term coined for describing African American vernacular English as a language and not a dialect. The two terms do have slightly different meanings in, his def in defining his speakers and is thus used differently depending on the scholar. One of his focuses is how AAVE speakers should be taught how to write in their own language rather than in the standard American English. John Rickleford is an amazing teacher and linguist whose focus is on identifying specific linguist variables. His language background is relatively rare in the linguist field and he's researched lots of linguistic stuff. Thank you.